Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to pick up a Bible. Turn with me to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5. We'll look at verse number 1 today. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together and enjoy a cup of coffee and a time with God on this beautiful day. Well, hallelujah, what better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God. Well, friend, over in Ecclesiastes 5.1, the Bible says here, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Going to the House of God to Listen. Now, listen, there will be some burdens that will cause you to go to the throne of grace over and over and over again. And my friend, you know the ones they are, the problems that keep you up all night and are first and foremost on your mind when you wake up in the morning. You want the Father's guidance as you persevere through these challenges, and that's a great thing. But are you going before Him just to talk, or are you actually taking the time to stop and to listen to what He may be saying to you? My friend, God has the wisdom that we all need today. And don't doubt him and don't doubt that at all. Our God is always ready to understand. And he understands all there is to know about our troubles. Yes, my friend, go and share your heart with him. But remember, he is God and you're not. Show him the respect that he deserves by being quiet and allowing him to speak to you. Get on your knees before him in prayer. Now, you may be saying, but preacher, you don't understand. I can't get on my knees. Well, in the physical sense, you may not be able to, but in the spiritual sense, you can. Get on your knees before him in prayer. Open his precious book, the word of the living God, and give to him ample time to speak to you and agree with what he says. My friend, keep seeking him and never lose heart. Certainly, our Lord will guide you and give you the wisdom that you need and lead you to overcome all obstacles that you may be facing. Many times, our obstacles are big because we make them big. And friend, you need to remember that you serve a God that's bigger than any obstacle that you'll ever face. Uh, And pray and talk to him. And just go ahead and remind him, not that he needs to be reminded, but... Lord, you know the questions on my heart. And then give him thanks and praise for answering your every need and guiding you always. And my friend, never forget that your hope is in the Lord Jesus because he shares his unfathomable wisdom with you. He loves you and he'll care for you. Pray with me. Thank you for loving us and caring, Almighty God. But help us not be so busy speaking that we don't have time to listen. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, make a difference in your world today. Let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.